الحمد لله الذي خدنا لهذا وما كنا لنحتدي لولا أن خدنا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد نبيه ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا في درس اللغة العربية لجير ناتكين بها أما بعد رب إشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري Wahlul hundatam bin lisani yabkahu kauli Rabi sinna ilman ajama'in So alhamdulillah Nipagpapatuloy natin sa araw na ito Ang panibagong batas Sa lesson 13 But ang gusto muna natin ipakita ngayon Sapagkat nakaka-encounter tayo minsan Ng mga meeting ng dalawang sukun At nagkakaroon ng surgery O extra haraka Uh, ay mas minabuti nating ipakita natin dito ang detalyadong batas nito nang sa ganun ay maunawahan nyo kung sakaling may may counter pa tayong mga ganitong iltika ay sa akin ay ni, no? Kailan sila nabibigyan ng extra haraka o surgery na tinatawag para mabasa ang meeting ng dalawang sukun o kailan naman pwedeng hindi sila bigyang haraka even na nagkita o nagkatagpo ang dalawang sukun sa hulian ng unang words at sa beginning ng unang words ng dalawang words ay maaring hindi nabigyan ito ng haraka. So, iaalamin natin ito ang buong detalye sa araw na ito bago tayo pumasok sa lesson 13 sa panibagong batas natin, insya Allah. So, ang iltika ay sa kinaini, alam natin ito ay haram basahin kapag nagmi-meeting ang dalawang sukun. But there is a time na hindi naman kailangan bigyan ng extra haraka at maaari ng basahin ang dalawang pagmi-meeting ng sukun. But kapag binasa ito, ay magkakaroon ng dalawang ito na silent. Magkakaroon ng katahimikan sa kanila, hindi sila mapopronounce. But sa mga bagay na sinasabi nating iltikay sa akin ay ninabawal basahin na hindi natin bigyan haraka ang isa, ito yung batas na kung saan hindi mo pwedeng o hindi ka pinapahintulutan na mabasa ang dalawang sukun na ito na hindi ka magbigay ng haraka. So that's why kailangan mo magbigay ng haraka nang sa ganun mabasa mo ito. Kaya pag-aaralan natin ito at napakalaking benefits nito. Lalo na sa pag-aaral ng grammar, pag nagbabasa kayo ng Quran, alam mo yung uh, extra lamang ito na haraka o surgery lamang ito o itibahagi ng words, no? So, malalaman nyo yan. Kasi sa Quran, sa mga binabasa natin ngayon, nakalagay lahat ang mga haraka. Hindi mo siya mahuhuli kung ito ay madzum, 
kung ito'y sukun, either na verb, either na particles, hindi mo siya, o either na noun, hindi mo siya makukuli. Pero kung marunong ka sa batas nito, alam mo kung ito extra lamang. So kapag hindi mo nahuhuli ang mga extra haraka o surgery, magkakaroon ka ng kalituan ngayon sa pagbibigay mo ng translations sa verb na yan o sa noun na yan o sa particles na yan, magkakaroon ka ng kalituan sapagkat hindi mo kabisado ang mga surgery sa iltikay sa akin ini. That's why mas minabuti natin abang mahaga ipakita isto sa inyo ng detalyado bago tayo pumasok sa lesson 13. Pakatandaan natin ang pagbibigay ng surgery sa isang dalawang sukun na kailangan bigyan ng isa sapagkat bawal basay ko hindi siya mabigyan at hindi pinapahintulot ang basahin na manahimik ang dalawang sukun ay isa lamang haraka ang ibibigay mo o ilalagay mo sa dulo ng unang words sa dulo ng unang words kasunod ang pangalawang words na sukun ang kanyang launa karamihan sa pangalawang words ay hamsatul wasal ang kasunod ng sukun sa unang words sa hulihan nito kasunod niya sa beginning ng next words sa unang halay most of the time makikita nyo talaga hamsatul wasal kaya yan ang makikita nyo misan madalas kasama niya ang lam so alip, lam or lam alip na tinatawag nila yung mayroong mga sun letter at moon letter karamihan niya ng kasunod niya okay? so but misan wala naman yung lam ang satul wasal lamang ang nagiging kasunod ng sukun sa unahang words sa hulihan nito Aramihan pagkasulod noon sa pangalawang words ay hamsatul wasal. Okay? So, isa, isa lamang haraka ang maaari nating ilagay. Hindi kayo maglalagay ng ha harakang surgery ng un, an, in. Bagkus isa lamang either a, u, or i lamang ang maaari nating ilagay sa sukun na yaan. Okay? Nabibigyan natin ng extra haraka o surgery para mabasa ang dalawang hiltika ay sa akin ay ni. Sometimes in Quran, makikita nyo na mayroon na agad yan, gaya ng sabi ko, no? Okay, so alam nyo ito na ito ay uh, extra lamang o hindi. Yun ang kainaman na kabisado mo ang mga surgery sa meeting of the two sukun. Okay, first we go to the meeting of iltikay sa kinaini. Ang kasra, ang kasra follow by ya. They... Tinatawag ito sa pag-aaral ng Tajwid, they are called mad tabi'i. They are natural mad. They are natural, natural mad. Two count. Like for example, this E and the Dhamma is Wow and the Fatha is Alip or either Alip Maksura or either Alip Maksura. A, A, the equivalent double A and this U and W and Kasra and ya. So, this is a natural mud. E to count. U and A. Okay? So, in this situation, kapag ito ang nakita nyo sa words, ito ang hulihan. Hulihan ng words. Okay? Kasra. Kasra. Then, sa hulihan ng words ay sukunya. Then, follow ham sa tulwasal sa unahang words naman. So, sa ganito ay hindi mo kailangan bigyan ito ng surgery. So, babasahin mo sila ng dalawa, ang huling sukun at sa unahang sukun ng isang words ng silent letter. So, hindi mo kailangan ng surgery sa sitwasyong ito. Okay? So, magkos babasahin mo silang magiging silent. Bigay tayo ng example. Dito muna tayo sa E, tapos ha, punta tayo sa U, N, Ah, ang lahat ng ito ay walang surgery. Kasi pagkasunod din ng lahat ang hamsatul wasal. Okay? Okay, that is number one rules. Pakikita natin. Punta tayo sa letter I. Kasra, palo ba? Yes, sukun din palo in another words. Sukun in the beginning of the words. Like for example, Okay, huwa Okay, huwa ladi Yusawirukum Huwa ladi Yusawirukum Then Fin So nakita nyo This is a kasra And ya So that is a kasra And ya And then followed by Amsatul 
wasal. Okay? So now, fil arhami. Okay. Fil arhami kaifa yasya. Kaifa yasya. Okay. Fil arhami kaifa yasya. Walladhi yusawwirukum fil arhami kaifa yasya. You see here the kasra and the sukun, yeah, and follow sukun. So in this situation, you don't need to put surgery. Ito sinasabi ko, pinapahintulutan kang basain mo ang dalawang meeting ng iltikai sa akin ay nina ito, and babasahin mo itong magiging silent ang ya and this hamsatulwasan. Okay? So now you can read this, Hu waladi yusawiru kung dito kasalam, fil, har, ar, fil, Arhami kaifa yasya. Okay? So, it he who shape you, it he who shape you in the wombs. Meaning, siya ang naghubog sa inyo mula sa sinapupunan. Meaning, ang Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya sukun, before ya sukun kasra, dahil sa kasra ay palaw hamsatulwasan, you don't need to put surgery. You are allowable to read straight, but ya and hamsatul wasal became silent, okay <coughs> another example lillahi and then ma and then fi so this is the kasra and ya, this is a sukun automatic, sinasabi natin kapag ang isang ah uh, Uh, letra ay wala itong sign like this automatic they are consider sukun, automatic yan ok, then I put here samawati this samawati ok wama fil art wama fil art ok, samawati wama fil ard okay so lillahi ma fis samawati wama fil ard meanings to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala belong all that in the heaven and all in the earth sa kanya lahat pag-aari ang nasa kalupa kalangitan at anuman nasa kalupaan ay pag-aari ng allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now here this is a fee And yeah, sukun and sukun. So now you can read this in straight, no need haraka, extra or surgery. Lillahi ma peace. Even na lam, here is silent. They are silent because palo by lam sun letter. Okay? The reason of ham satulwasan became silent because meron si sa unahan. The reason of ya, that's why he became silent because kasra, palo by ya sukun and palo sukun, these rules, this rules. A fly to read silent. So, ma pis sa mawati, wama, ganun din dito. Wama pil. This is daya, and ang sa tulwasan, so straight. Wama pil. Okay, that is the rules na hindi nyo maaring bigyan ng surgery ang ganyang sitwasyon. But sometimes, mayroong maaaring bigyan natin ang makita natin ang kasra and then follow yasukun suku, na magkaroon siyang surgery na fatha. But this surgery makita natin sometimes hindi ito bilang rules for iltikai sa kinaini o surgery bagkus ito ay tinatawag na parang bang for beautification sa pagbabasa para maging maganda ang pagbabasa mo at para maging magaan, magandang pakinggan sa iyong tenga. So, sometimes ay binibigyan ito ng extra haraka o surgery na tinatawag tulad halimbawa sa banal na Quran, lakum dinukum waliyadin. Okay? That's right. Lakum di lakum dinukum Okay, lakum di
Dinukum. Okay, lakum. Dinukum. Ben. Wa. Riyadin. Okay. Lakum dinukum. Lakum dinukum. Wa liyadin. So, to you is your religion and to me is my religion. Sabi na Las Bantala, say sa kay, sa, kay, sa inyo ang mga sa inyo ang inyong relihiyon at sa akin ang aking relihiyon. So in this situation makikita ninyo din sa Kasra and follow ya sukul. Pero makikita niyo ang kanyang kasunod ay hindi naman ito sukul. Okay? So now makikita niyo binigyan ito ng fatha Binagyan ito ng fatha sa banal na Quran. Makikita nyo as hindi surgery. For beautification lamang yan at maging magaan at magandang pakinggan ang yung recite. So wali din, medyo masagwang pakinggan, mahirap pakinggan. Pangit, ang gusto kasi na alas bantala, ang Quran ay binibigkas ng matimyas, maganda talaga. So that's why, binigyan nilang fatha para maging magandang pakinggan, madaling basahin at maganda Uh, sa tingang mapakinggan for beautification sa reciting no? waliya din so there is a patsa there here but not surgery for beautification only waliya din and remember kapag nakakabasa kayo ng ganito dili sa huli actually dapat dito ay maging dinun because this is a harjari si Madyo si Bujum Lakabar and dinun this is a muktada pero makikita nyo siya there is a kasra in the ending So sa ganitong sitwasyon may merong nakatago diyan na ya mutakallim. That's why translate niyan to me is my religion. So meron yang ya kaya kasra sa diyan. So magiging dinu is the mubtada wa huwa mudab and daya mutakallim is mudab ilayhi. So ganun yan. Lakum dinukum wali ya dini. Actually that is la wali ya dini da uh, complete sentence. To me is my religion. Okay, dino, inatak lang nang yan, naging dini. Remember that. So, nakita nyo dito, mayroon siyang surgery, uh, extra pats, ha? but not for surgery. This is for beautification sa pagre-recite. Okay? Handulila. And remember, nasabi kong itong kasrang ito, unang-una, hindi ito diptot. Baka isipin nyo, baka diptot lamang ito dahil no tanwin. No? No. Walang diptot na kasra ang ending. Puro lamang pati matu, pati mata, pati mata, damma, patsa lamang. So, manabong maging diptot yan. That's why meron yang yamutakalin sa nakatago, nakikita ng puso at isipan, ngunit hindi nakikita ng mata. Now, you can translate this sa akin, ang akin. Diba? Sa akin, ang aking religion. Sa inyong yung religion, sa akin, ang aking religion. So, ito ang akin. To me is my. To me is my religion. That's it. Okay. Okay. But sometimes, but sometimes, if there is a kasra before sukun, like this katra enya, maliban saya, maliban saya, ibig sabihin kasra then sukun na hindi ya. Hindi siya weak letter. Like wow. Hindi siya weak letter. So sa ganito ay mag-aari siyang magkaroon ng surgery. Ang after kasra din, sukun letter. Maaari siyang magkaroon ng surgery if this ay iltikai sa akin ini. Like for example, I give you para maunawahan nyo. Okay. Like for example, la, then yat la yat ta la yat takit. This is actually this actually sukun. So, before sukun, there is a kastrahin. La, yat takid. La, yat takid. This is not ya. 
this is a week not week letter this is a jal kasra then after that sukun para yung niya kanina kasra then ya sukun okay then follow by amsatul wasal follow by amsatul wasal sukun sukun itong sinasabi nating iltika isa kinay na hindi maaring basahin because this is a not weak letter at kailangan mong obligado maglagay ng surgery para mabasa mo ang dalawang sukun na ito because haram na basahin to because they are not weak letter isa lang ang weak ito lang at ito ay hindi weak so la yataki din mo mi mo minina mo mi minina Aulia, daya takidin mo minin al kafir, ka kafirina, al kafi, kafirina, kafirina, daya takidin mo minin al kafirina, aulia, ikaw si au, lia, aulia. Amin dunil mukminin, okay? Amin dunil muk mukmi. Amin dunil mukminina, okay? Layat takidin muk layat takid al mukminin al kafirina awliya min dunil mukminin. So what is the sentence? Anong ibig sabihin ng sentence? Ah, let not the believers, okay? Take the disbelievers as awliya, means supporter, uh, helper, or friends. Ah? Instead, the disbeliever, the bis the believer, instead the believers. So, nang makikita nyo rito, this is sukun, this is sukun. But this is not a weak letter, so kailangan magkaroon siya ng surgery. Sa sitwasyong ito ay ilalagay natin ang surgery na kasra <coughs> okay kasra and remember my words karamihan sa surgery ng iltikay sa kinay ni ay kasra kasra sila ang most of the time surgery is kasra okay but dito karamihan kapag may kasra ang surgery ay patha But dito inilagay ko ay kasra. Why hindi patha? Like for example, I give you muna sa patha. Okay? Ibigyan ko ay sa patha. Min sukun. Then albay. See? So yung tika ay sa kinini. This is not a weak letter. Kailangan bigyan mo hara ka. Extra surgery. So you put because this is a kasra, the surgery must patha. So minal by T. That's it, yan ang sinasabi ko. Kasra before sukun, na hindi weak letter, the surgery is patra. But why here I put kasra? This is also kasra, then sukun, like this. Nilagay ko patra dito kasra. Why? Because this is a modar yun. And the modar yun, wala siyang mo'rab o declination na majurur. Ang kanyang declination ay marfu, mansuben, majum, majum, sukun. Like this, sukun. Mag-zoom. So, wala siyang majurur. So, if I put kasra palo by sukun patha, nilitaw na ito ay mansub. Nilitaw na mansub, hindi ko makikilala ang mag-zoom sa formang ito o mansub. Ha? Hindi ko makikilala. Like, for example, tanggalin natin ito. Okay. Layat takida. So, Vini, hindi ko makikita ngayon kung ito ay sukun. Dahil linagay mong patha, ang modal yun, nagde-decline siyang mansub. So, para makilala natin na ito ay sukun, they put kasra. Because walang kasra ang modar yun. Now, bakit siya may kasra? Ngayon, alam ko na na ito ay madzum. Dahil ito ay modar yun, walang kasra ang declination. Kung nagtatap ko siya sa kasra, meaning this is a only surgery. Even in the body, even in the body, ha, kasra din ang ilalagay natin. Okay? Yeah, most of the time, kasra ang ating sarjari sa mga iltikay sa akin ini. Now, you can read now, layat takidil. Actually, this is saying, layat takid. Sino ang gumawa ng madjum sa layat takidu? That is the root, siyat takidu, dalanahiya, became madjum. Layat takid. 
But because followed by sukun, and this is not a weak letter, so you must put surgery. La yattakidil mu'minuna. La yattakidil mu'minuna al-kafirina awliya min dunil mu'minin. Okay? Alhamdulillah. So another example from this is, like for example, minas shaytanir rajim. Minas shaytanir rajim. Min sukun palo bang sa tulwasal, it became minas shaytanir rajim. Okay? Now, I hope alam nyo ang kanyang kaibahan, kasra palo sukun, kasra palo sukun sa'in, dito pata dito kasra. Because hindi pwedeng pata rito magiging mansub ang mudaryon. So, hindi natin makikilala ang madzum o sukun ng mudaryon. That's why put kasra. Now, you know, walang mudaryong kasra. So, meaning, kung may kasra, this is a sign na nagpapakilalang sukun lang ang letrang ito. Okay? Alhamdulillah. I hope that is clear for kasra, follow by sukunya, silent pag binasa nyo, no need surgery, but kasra, follow by not uh, sukun pero hindi weak, you must put uh, surgery. Either kasra or either pata. Okay? Alhamdulillah. Now we will go to uh, dhamma. Ha? Dhamma, follow by wow. Magtabi, natural Uh, mad, two counts, dito naman tayo, dumako. Okay. What? Dhamma plus wow. Means, ooh, two counts. That is a mad tabi, natural mad. Okay? If the words before the ending, wow, sukun, meron siyang dhamma, partner yan. Ha? Kanina, kasraya, partner yan. So then, palo, in another words, this is a first word, and second word, am satulwasal. Now, you don't need a surgery. Because they is weak and weak. Okay? Now you can read, and this is a dhamma. Remember, yung partner, tinutukoy ko. Ha? Okay, this is a weak, weak, tapos yung partner nila. So in this situation, hindi mo kailangan ng surgery, basahin mo lang ng silent ang dalawa, katulad ng kasraya kanina, palo by amsatul wasal. So, they became silent. I give you example. Okay. Wallahu. Wallahu. And then, azizun. Azizun. Then, dun. Tikam. Dun. Ti. Kam. Dun. Tikami. Dun tikam. Wallahu azizun. And Allah is the Almighty. Huh? All able for retribution. 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 Pag-iiganti. Ang Allah makapangyarihan at siya ang dun tikam. Meaning, siya ang makapangyayari, ang makakagawa sa pagpaparusa. Okay? Wallahu azizun dun tikam. Here, this is the Dhamma. And this the wow sukun. No harka, automatic sukun. And follow by hamsatul wasal. Now you read this in silent. You read, Wallahu azizun dun tikam. No need surgery. <coughs> this is a permissible because they are two weak letter. No need surgery for them. You can read straight but silent. Okay? Wallahu azizun dun tikam. I give you another example. Alladina, Alladina, and then I put Alladina, uh, utul kitab, utul kitab, utul kitab. Alladina, utul. I think this mapulumbihi kitaba. Okay, what's the meaning? Those who were given scripture, scripture, those who were given scripture, sila na pinagkalooban ng kasulatan. Okay? So here, makikita natin, this is the Dhamma and this is the Wow Sukun. And follow by Hamsa Tulwasan. Now, in this situation like this, hindi nyo kailangan ng surgery. You can read, Alladina, silent, silent, utul, utul kitab. You cannot read this Wow, silent, silent, ha? Alladina utul kita, but you cannot draft this, okay? This is important because berbian, hindi pa nga disinyan. Alladina utul kita, that is the 
rules of dhamma followed by wow sukun and then followed by another sukun in another new words so the meaning is apply silent read continue no need surgery for this situation okay now but if the dhamma ah huh? but if the dhamma follow by another letter not weak letter dhamma this dhamma not follow wow not follow weak letter instead follow by letter na malakas okay so in this situation magkakaroon ng surgery kasra but there is an exemption in antum kum and whom bago natin dakuha ng exemption na ito kung ano surgery nila unahin natin ang surgery kasra Okay? Hamdun. Like for example, I give you example. Kul. This is a sukun. Okay? And then I put here Allah Humma. Say, O oh Allah. Sabihin mo, O oh Allah. This is a iltikahi. Sa akin ay ni. This is a sukun-sukun. But this is a not weak letter. Because this is a not weak letter, you are not allowable na maging silent ang dalawang yan. Hindi mo pwedeng gawin silent ito. This is a strong letter. This is not a weak letter. Only the weak letter siya, wow, and hamsat luwasan. They call this alif kapag nag-aaral ka ng tajwid. Alif. But in, a, in grammar, this is hamsat luwasan in the beginning, in the middle, and end. That is a alif for elongation. Okay? Now, in this situation, you must foot surgery kasra para mabasa natin ang haram na basaing pagtagpo ng dalawang sukun. Now you can read this kulil la humma. Kulil la humma. Okay? Even na palo mim, yung gaya na sinabi ko kanina, the exemption is kum, antum and hum. That is for pronouns. Kung hindi siya pronouns sa tatlong ito, even na palo mim, kum mim ang huli, tum mim ang huli, hum mim ang huli. Pero kung hindi siya pronoun ay kasra pa rin ang kanyang surgery. Like for example, this is a kum. And then I put Laila. Okay. Then, this is a hamsa tulwasal. Then sukun, sukun. So this is not weak. Kailangan mabigyan natin ng haraka. Sa ganito, ay kahit min pa rin ang dulo, kasra, ah, kasra pa rin ang kanyang surgery. Kumil Laila. Kumil Laila ka illa ka lila. Okay? So, where's the surgery? Kasra like the pulil. Another example, like for example, kud. This is a verb. Okay? That is a sukun. Kud means take. Kunin mo. Okay? Then I put almaa. Almaa, the water. So, in this situation, this is a sukun. But this is a not weak letter. This is a hamsatulwasan sukun. Iltikai sa kinaini. In this situation, kasra pa rin. That's why gaya na sabi ko, kasra is the most of the time ang kanyang surgery. So makita nyo, dhamma followed by sukun, not wow, not the weak letter. The surgery is kasra, 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 whatever. Dhamma followed by sukun, hindi weak letter, the surgery is kasra. But there is a exemption, three exemption. Kum, Antum and whom. Sukun, sukun, sukun. Kum, antum, and whom. Okay? But because this is a pronoun, this three, these are pronoun, so if you make this iltikai sa kinini, sukun, paro, bayham, sa tulwasan, then the surgery is dhamma. The surgery, here sa tatlong ito, exception ito, dhamma. But kung hindi ito, palaging kasra. Okay? Palaging kasra. Like for example, I give you example. Okay. Here is home. Okay? This is the sukun. Home. Then I put here Aladina Hum and Aladina Okay Then Yata Wallaw Put Yata Wallaw Yata Wallaw okay. Yata Wall Yata Wall 
yata walaw na. Okay? Okay, what the meaning? They are who say they are who say sila yaong nagsasabi. Okay? They are who say sila yaong nagsasabi. Okay. Where is the rules here? This is mim sukun and palo by sukun. Dhamma, after dhamma, not weak letter, mim. Kanina, kumi, kasra. Ba dahil lang kumi, hindi yun for uh, damir na like this. Okay? That is ay sakop ng salitang amrun. Ah, yung file doon, mustatirun. Okay? But here, this is a damir, sukun, hum, antumen, hum. Talagang ito ang words niya. In this situation, there are, they are exemption. Instead na kasra, put dhamma. The surgery is, sa tatlong ito ay dhamma, dhamma, dhamma. Okay? So, you read na not humil. Humul ladina. Humul ladina yatawallaw na. Okay? Humul ladina yatawallaw na. Or like for example, humul mudarrisuna. They are teacher. Humul mudarrisuna. Okay? Hum al mudar ri suna. So, sukun sukun, then put dhamma. Humul mudar ri suna. Okay. Now go to the kum. Yeah, nakita niyo na yung next, ang ano niya, surgery, dhamma, kapag hum, antumen, kum. Okay. Wa yuhaddiru kum. In kum, wa yuhad di ru kum. Now this is the sukun. This is the sukun. Wa yuhad dirukum then i put am satul wasal okay allahu wa yadrukumullahu nafsahu naf sahu what is the meaning wa yuhad dirukum you cannot read this well tikay sa akin ini hindi weak to kailangan magkaroon sarjerian okay the meaning is uh, and allah wants you against in himself at ang Allah ay binabalaan kayo laban sa kanyang sarili. Okay? So here, this is a sukun-sukun. But because this is a kum, now we know the surgery is dhamma. Kaya pag nagbabasa kayong Quran, nakita niyong kum, hum, antum, at mayroon siyang dhamma, followed by sukun, alam niyo na yan. Surgery lang yan. Okay? Hindi kayo malilito mag-translate. Ano kaya ito? Ba't may dhamma ito? Now alam niyo na. That is a only surgery. So now you read, why you read, why? Yuhaddirukumullahu. Yuhaddirukumullahu. Ha? Alhamdulillah. So now in antum, you can say, antum. This is a sukun. And then, muslimuna. Muslimuna. Okay? Antum, sukun-sukun, now for dhamma. Antumul muslimuna. You are muslim. Affirmation, positive. Antumul Muslim. Now, you cannot say Antum al-Muslim. No, 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 no. Antumul Muslimuna. Like, for example, also, Salamu, Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. Now, you say, Alaikum. Alaikum sukun. Then, Assalamu. Okay, how can you read now? Wa alaikum sukun sukun then foot damak because of kum wa alaikumus salam wa alaikumus salam that is the correct pronunciation not wa alaikum as salam o wa alaikum as salam ah instead wa alaikumus salam because sukun sukun okay alhamdulillah I hope clear yan ang damma din natin now we will go to fatha Follow by Alif. Okay, follow by Alif. Patha means then Alif. That is the ending of the words. Ending of the words is Alif or pwede nating sabihin Alif Maksura because they are also partner Alif. Man plus Alif or Patha or Patha Alif Maksura. Alif Madda, Alif Maksura. 
That is for two count, month of Either sa dalawang yan. Now, this is the ending of the first words and followed by Hamsa Tulwasal in the next words. Okay, in the beginning, Hamsa Tulwasal. So, meaning, that is a sukun-sukun, sukun-sukun. So, this is a switch situation ito, they, because they are weak, 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 you don't need to put surgery. Ha? You don't need to put surgery. Kapag nakita nyo nagkaroon biglang surgery ang ganyan, na may pat sa example, that is not surgery. They call this for beautification tulad ng pinakita natin kanina. Wala kong dinukong, waliya din. Okay? Alhamdulillah. I give you a sample. Kulama. Kulama. Every time. Sa bawat. Okay? Kulama. Then, dakala, we put dakala. Dakala. And then we put Zakaria. Ha? Zakaria. Now, this is saying Alip and Patha. Zakaria. Okay? Then we put Al-Mihrabi. Al-Mihrab. Zakaria Al-Mihraba. Okay? Mihraba. Kullama dakala Zakaria Al-Mihraba. Okay? Every time Zakaria enter the mihrab. Mihrab, this is a private room. Or you can say mihrab is on also pray, uh, place of praying room. Uh, place of praying room. That is a mihrab. So every time Zakaria enter the mihrab. Okay? The play, every time. Sa bawat si Zakaria pumapasok sa praying room or private room. Tulad ng kay Maria. Nakikita niya may pagkain si Maria na hindi panahon. But meron siyang ganun. Like that. Okay, now how can you read? This is the rules na pinag-uusapan natin dito. Patsha, followed by Alif, and then followed by Amsatul Wasal in the beginning of the second words. In this situation, you don't need to put surgery. Walang kailangang surgery sa sitwasyon ito. Okay? Ang kailangan lamang natin dito, basahin silang silent. So, kulama dakalad sa kariyal. Sakariyal, they are became silent yung dalawang yan. Mehrabi. Okay. Like for example, another example, in this alit magsura, wa ilal. See? Wa ilal lahi al-masir. Al-masir. Wa ilal lahi. See? This is a alit magsura, sukun-sukun, and sukun. Then follow by fatha, Like this, patha, alip magsura. Then the rules is same. Sa una, don't put surgery because they are weak letter. So you must read straight. But sila ay magiging silent. Wa ilal. Wa ilallahi masir. Wa ilallahi masir. And to Allah, and to Allah is the final return. And to Allah is the final return. At kay Allah ang huling pagbabalik. Okay? Ang huling pagbabalik. That is the rules. Patsha, followed by weak letters, and also weak letters, no need surgery. No need surgery. But, if the patsha followed by another sukun, this, followed by sukun, okay? But hindi ito weak letter. Hindi weak letter ang kanyang kusunod. Instead, letter na malakas. Not ya, not wow. Okay? So, magkakaroon ito ng surgery sapagkat bawal basahin ito na isilent mo at bawal basahin ng two meeting of sukun at hindi mo ito mababasa kung di mo bigyan ng surgery na haraka. Ano kaya ang haraka patsa pagkatapos isang letra palo by sukun? Ano kaya ang letra ang suitable na inilalagay bilang surgery? Iyan naman ngayon susunod natin. Okay. Example. Id kalat. Id Kalat I think this Okay Id Kalat Now in this situation This is a Sukun And this is the Fatha This is the Sukun Change name Okay For the feminine Tatal Kalisi This is the Sukun Kalat Okay Now Palo by sukun in the next words. Like for example, 
Imra atu. Imra atu. Imra atu. Okay? And then, Imra na. Im. Okay. Imra na. Imra atu. What is the meaning of Imra atu? The wife. When the wife of Imran, this is a mudafilehi, mansub because they've taught, okay, the foreign names, Imra, itgalat, itgalat sukun and sukun, I translate ko muna, when the wife of Imran said, okay, when the wife of Imran said, meaning, nang ang asawa ni Imran ay nagsabi, okay, but here this is a sukun, and also, this is a sukun, Pata, palo ba ay sukun. But this is not weak. So, sa ganitong sitwasyon, hindi ka maaaring maglagay, ay, hindi ka maaaring hindi maglagay na surgery. Because this is a not weak. You must put surgery. So, remember, fatha, palo ba ay sukun, the surgery is kasra. Kasra. Okay? Palo ba ay, pata, palo ba ay sukun, then sukun in the next words, in the beginning. So, ka kasra. Wa idkalati, ha? Idkalatim ra'atu imrana. That is the correct reading. Okay? Take for example yung ginagamit natin sa ating hiwar, man. Isukun. Ha? Okay, man. Then I put here, manil, aku. So, this is sukun. Patsa, then, follow by sukun. What is the rules? Ha? Kasra. So, manil, aku. Who's the brother? Sukun, sukun, put kasra. Okay? Manila ko, who's the brother? Okay? Also, like for example, I give you, in, meron siyang pata, but there's a week ya. Okay? Here. Ra, ay to, ay so. Okay? Then, I put, muhandisay. Mu, handi, Muhandi Sai Okay, patsa, follow by Ya, this is a week But, alam natin, ang ya, ang kanyang Ang kanyang partner ay kasra At hindi mo pwede bigyan ng surgery But here, this is not kasra, this is a patsa Okay, this is a Patsa means, Muhandi Sai Gagawin ko muna for Muhandi Sai ni For the two engineer I saw the two engineer of Like that If you make the dual kasi plural in the mudap, drop the nun. So, nakadrop ang handisay ni, nakadrop ang nun. Because gagawin ko siyang mudap. Then, I put here, Al-Misriyayni. Al-Misri, Al-Misriyayni. Okay? To Egyptian. To Egyptian. So, I saw the two engineers of the two Egyptian. Nakita ko ang dalawang engineer ng dalawang Egyptian. So, here, this is a sukun. This is a also sukun. They are weak. But in this situation, kung saan nakasra siya, yes, there no, there no need to put surgery. But in this situation, this is a fatha. So, you can put surgery in this situation and the surgery fatha uh, after fatha sukun is kasra ra'aytu muhandisayil muhandisayil misriyayni see that is a kasra remember that rules hindi partner nang ya ang patha kung ito'y kasra no need surgery but because this is a patha palo ba ya we can put surgery kasra remember that rules okay Alhamdulillah. Another example. Kara Jat. This is Sukun. And then At-Talibu. Talibatu. Okay? Talibatu. So, Sukun-Sukun. The student went out. Ang sudyante lumabas o umalis. So, because this is a not weak letter, so, Patha. So, Patha. After Patha, Sukun. The surgery is Kasra. Kara Jatit. Talibu. Karajatit. Talibu. The student went out. Ang estudyante ay lumabas. Now, punta tayo sa pinakamadalas gamitin sa banal na Quran na hindi yung makikitang nakalagay ang kanyang 
surgery. No. Kailanman ay hindi nyo makikita ang kanyang sarji sa Quran. Kaya kung hindi mo ito kabisado, hindi mo makalalaman kung paano mong babasahin ito. This is the very most important. Okay? Okay. What is anong tinutukoy natin? Kapag ang first word, first word, nagtatapos sila sa an, un, at saka in, kitabun, kitaban, kitabin, like this, kita, bun, ending un, meaning endings, nun sukun, kung susulat natin yan, nun sukun, dhamma plus, u plus, n, nun, Sukun ang nun, kitabun. Or either, kitabin, ending nun, ay n. Or kitaban, kitaban. Ending, a n. Sukun, this say, uh, spelling rules. So, kitaban, a n. So, meaning, ang kanyang hulian ay sukun nun. Sukun nun. All of this, If they are follow Hamzatul Wasal in the next word, the surgery, all of this is kasra. No other choice. Automatic kasra ang iyong ilalagay. Okay? Un, an, in, follow by Hamzatul Wasal, automatic kasra is the surgery. Like for example, dito tayo. Kairun. Kairun. Run. Dati say sukun. Un. Ha? Dati say sukun. Nun, sukun. Then, ihbitu. Ihbi. Ihbitu. Kairun. Ihbitu. Now, this is a sukun nun. Actually, this is a sukun nun. Okay? Like this. Un. And follow by sukun. This is also sukun. So, the surgery now, foot kasra. Uni. Kairuni. Okay? Kairuni, betu. Kairuni. Diretso. Kairuni, kairuni, betu. Kairu, ne, betu. That is the lilitaw na surgery, kasra. Okay? Like, for example, jamian. Jamian. What is the ending? An. An. An, actually, this is nun sukunen, patsa sa taas. An. This is a sukun. Now, I put al-ladina sukun an, followed by sukun. So, now, you must put surgery kasra. Jami anil ladina. Jami anil ladina. Okay? Kasra. Lahat ito kasra. Now, dako tayo sa ah, Kasra. Okay? Kasra. Like for example, Ba-din. Ba-din. Ending. Actually, this is Kasra and Nun Sukun. In. Ba-din. Okay? Then follow by Unzur. Un. Sukun. Okay? This is Sukun. Okay? This is also Sukun Nun. Now, you put Kasra. Ba'dini, ba'dinin dun, ba'dinin zur, ba'dinin zur, okay? So put kasra again, ba'dinin zur, okay? Another example, bi rahmati, ah, bi rahmatin, bi rahmatin, okay? Bi rahmatin, so ending. Kasra en nun sukun birah matin. Okay, now ud kuluhu, ud kulu, ud kulu. Okay, now this is a sukun en sukun nun in birah matin like this in sukun sukun. Now put kasra birah matinin birah mati nid kulu birah mati nid kulu. Saya lihat tu wasa am satu wasa. Mama matin nasa pagbabasa. Birahmatin, birahmatinid, kulu. Ha? So, nakita nyo? 
always kasra pagdating sa un an in tanwin ha okay tanwin means nisisay fathatani kasratani dammatani the surgery is always kasra in iltikai saki naini so nagpakita na tayo ng fatha nagpakita tayo ng dama so nagpakita tayo ng kasra in this situation un an in palo bay ham sa tulwasan always the surgery is kasra after uni ini ani ha so pot kasra okay that is the full details of iltikai sa kinay ni rulings now we will go to our main lesson ano kaya ang bagong rules natin sa lesson na ito lesson 13 tayo okay alhamdulillah so dakuhan natin ang lesson 13 <coughs> In this lesson, ay dadako tayo sa bagong rules nang galing na tayo sa singular, dadako naman tayo sa plural. Okay? So, nung nakaraan, napag-aralan natin ang mga singular. Huwag muna tayo sa dual. Plural muna tayo. Ito kasi nasaklat eh. After singular, plural. Okay? Plural ng noun at mismo siya ra ang bagong rules natin sa Lesson 13. They call this plural in Arabic jam'un. Huh? Jam'un. Okay, jam'un. If you put ang um, sa tulwasa, jam'uni. Huh? Okay. So, that is a plural jam'un. And remember, brother and sister, sa plural mayroon tayong dalawang tinatawag na uri ng plural. One of the one of this is jam un taksirun, ha? Jam un jam un tak si taksirun. Jam un taksirun they call this broken plural, ha? This word jam un taksirun means the singular word back to plural in broken plural way. Broken plural. They call this broken plural. Okay? Not manot. That's why una muna yung broken before the plural. Okay? And the another, they call this jam on salimun. Sa limun. What is salimun? Sounds. Maliwanag. Malinaw. Sounds plural. Sounds plural. Okay? Sounds plural. That's it. So meaning, may darawa, dalawa tayong uh, plural. Ang isa'y tinatawag na sa pattern nito ng broken plural. At ang isa'y nasa pattern ng sounds plural. At itong sounds plural na ito, ay dalabahati siya sa dalawa. Nahahati siya sa dalawa. Jama'a mo dakker salim, and jama'a mo anna salim. I will write. Okay. Unahin natin. Jam'un. Then mudakkarun. Salimun. Sa mudakkarun, salimun. Jam'un, mudakkarun, salimun. Meaning, this is a sounds masculine plural and the other is sounds feminine plural okay they call this jamun muan nasun jamun muan nasun then you put salimun they call this sounds feminine plural okay that's it so meaning mayroon tayong dalawang bahagi na pattern na plural one is the broken plural and the second is the sounds plural but this sounds plural mayroon siyang dalawang kalagayan so magkakaroon ng dalawang ding pattern ng sounds plural one is the 
masculine sounds masculine plural and the feminine plural okay alhamdulillah now magbigay tayo ng example muna unahin natin ang uh, sounds masculine plural okay so burahin natin po unahin natin ang sounds masculine plural then feminine then po dako tayo sa broken plural okay Okay. The sounds masculine plural kaya tinawag itong sounds ha. Tingnan niyo, hindi siya mahirap. Only one pattern, masculine ma, masculine plural. Musli mun. Mus limun. This is a singular one muslim. Masculine na. Punta tayo sa feminine. Mus, paano natin gagawin feminine? By adding tamar buta. Before tamar buta, this mean put patha. It became mus lima. Then, tun. Remember, kapag dinadagdagan ng tamar buta na another letter, nagiging offend tayan. Huwag niyong kalilimutan. Musli, musli matun. That is feminine, masculine. Now, paano natin gagawin plural ang muslimon? By adding una. By adding wow and nun with fatha. Drop the one Dhamma. So it became Musli Muslimuna Musli Muna Muslimun Muslimuna Mudarrisun Mudarrisuna Like that ha? Alhamdulillah Now if you analyze this Asa marpo lang tayo How can you analyze this? This is a marpo ha? Marpo Like for example Muslimuna Marpo Humul Muslim muna, they are Muslim. Marpo, kabar. Marpo, okay? And this is a marpo. Hindi maring hindi marpo to. Why? Because the sign of marpo is wow. And the sign of major and mansubi ba? Hindi siya wow. That's why, that kapag gumagawa kayo ng marpo, Muslim muna. Okay? Now, you say, if you analyze this, marfuun. Marfuun. Okay? Then, alama to Rap Ihi Bil Wawi Bil Wow What is the sign of Marpu? Wow Okay Now You can say now Li Annahu Li Annahu Because Like that ha Li Annahu Then You say Jam'un mudakarun salimun. Jam'un mudakarun salimun. Because this is a sounds masculine plural. Marpu'un alamatur rafihi, the sign of marpu bin wow. This is the sign of marpu. The wow. Lian na hu because this ay jama ang mudakar salim sounds masculine plural. Remember, in masculine plural sounds, the marpu sign is always wow. Always wow. Okay? Now, you can add It's a bang nag-a-analysisyon, idinadagdag nila ang wal nun. Wal nun. Wal nun, this, 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 this. Wal nun, that is a iwadun. Iwadun. Wal nun, iwadun, minat sanwini. Minat tan wini minat tan wini okay minat tan wini wa harakatihi fil mufradi wa haraka harakatihi wal nun iwadun mis iwadun substitute or kabayaran Well, nun, itong nun na ito ay kabayaran mula sa talwin. 
mula sa tanwin at ang kanyang haraka. Ito, itong pacha. Mula sa tanwin ng un ay kabayaran mula sa tanwin at itong haraka. They are kabayaran dito sa un na ito, itong nun na ito. Okay? Alhamdulillah. Then, film of fraud. Why we put film of fraud? Film Mufrad Mufrad <coughs> Mufrad Film Mufrad Sila kita nyo Basa rito Straight Ya Ayan ang satulwasan Kasra Ya Ang satulwasan Film Mufrad In the singular Itong nun na ito Wal nun Ang nun ay kabayaran O substitute From Tanwin Okay At ang kanyang haraka Itong A Para sa singular na Un Remember that That is the Analysisyon Marfuun Alamaturapihi Bilwaw The sign of Marfuswaw Lian na ho dyan mo on mo dakarun salim because this say sounds masculine plural. And the nun, and the nun, this is a substitute from the tanwin, from the singular tanwin, and the haraka fatha. This is the compensation nun and haraka fatha in the singular. Okay, alhamdulillah. That is the sign of jama mo dakar salim. Only one pattern, una-una. Okay, like for example, mudar rison. Mudari Sun How can you make plural? Mudari Suna Mudari Suna Una Okay, Mudari Sun Mudari Suna Like that There's sign of Marfu Wow Okay, wow Now In the feminine Muslimatun Okay, now Paano natin ipakikita ang plural ng feminine? Okay? So, this is a sounds feminine plural. We know the feminine almost nagtatapos siya sa tamarbuta. Okay? That is the sign of feminine. So, like for example, we say, mudar risatun, mudar risatun. That is a feminine because the masculine is Mudarriso. By adding tamar buta, teacher masculine became feminine. This is a singular. Mudarriso, mudarriso na. Mudarriso tun, paano ang kanyang plural? Okay. Mudarriso tun. If you make this plural, in this scene, first you add a lip for elongation, for madda, magtabi, mudarriso. And then this tamar buta only changes into eventa. And the dandama, is still there. Okay? Now, because adding alif here and open ta became the feminine pluralist mudarrisa tun. That's it. Mu'mina tun. Mu'mina tun. Muhandisa tun. Muhandisa tun. Tamarbuta became open ta. Okay? So this is the Nakita natin sign of pinalitan natin sa mudar sa to singular into plural. But remember we are still in marfu. Okay, in this situation the sign of marfu is dadamma. So na-analyze na, na natin already ito. Madali nang i-analyze. Mudar risatun, marfuun, like this is a marfu, like for example this is marfu, marfuun, because hindi naman maaaring hindi magmarfu ito because the major and mansub the sign is kasra. Mudari sa atin, mudari sa atin. Okay, madzub, 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 and madzurur. But marufu is marufu, dama. So this marufu. Mudari sa atin, if you analyze, mudari sa atin, marufu on alamat uraf ihi bi dama. Ang kanya sign na marufu ay dama. So ganun lang lamang yan. Okay, siyempre pag gumawa kayo ngayon ng plural ng mukta dalay preso nito, ang cover ninyo, so put hun na, Mudarrisatun, hum, mudarrisuna. Like for example, in masculine, hum, mu, dari, suna. This is the sign of plural and the sign of marfu is wow, masculine. And in the feminine, hum, na, mudarrisatun, ofenta. Mudarrisatun, mubtada, kabar, kabar marfuun, alamaturapihi, Bidang madahira. Here, this is also kabar. Mubtada kabar. Alamatul rafihi bilwaw. Lianahu jamun mudakkarun salim. Because this is a sounds masculine plural. 
So, ganun lamang yan. Okay? So, mudarisatun, bikin mudarisatun, muhandisatun, bikin muhandisatun, in the feminine, plural, in the masculine, mudarisun, mudarisuna, muslimun, muslimuna, muslimatun, muslimatun. That is the feminine. O, uh, plural feminine, alif and often, tadata marbuta, and mudarisun by adding wow and nun. Okay? And also, you must put in mudarisuna al. Wala kang tatanggalin sa pagkati siya lang yan. Now, it became definite. And here, if you make this mudarisatun to al mudarisa, put al, now drop the wandamma to make definite. Al mudarisa to. Okay, now it can be indefinite or definite. That is the plural of feminine. Alhamdulillah. Now, dako tayo sa broken plural. Medyo mahirap ang broken plural because it has many pattern. It has many pattern. Magbigay tayo ng mga, insya lang, ilang mga pattern na tanjang sa broken plural. Bakit tinawag itong broken plural ang kanyang singular to plural? Because basag eh. Nakakalito. Hindi malinaw ang kanyang pagka-plural. I give you in the pattern of puulun. Okay. In the first pattern is puulun from the pattern of paala. Yung ginamit natin sa verb. Palaging yan ang ginagamit. Puulun. I give you example in the singular sa pinag-aralan natin. Najmun. I star. Now, if I, I want to say stars. Maraming stars. In the pattern of puulun. This is a pa kalima, ayin kalima, lam kalima, or first radical, second radical, and third radical. Now, in making fuulun, nujumun. So it became nujumun. That is a plural of najmun. Broken, no? Ibig sabihin, iba-iba. Wala dyan, hindi siya sounds, mahirap siya. That's why tinawag itong broken. Magamot hindi natin kabisado ang mga uh, pattern, don't worry. Master na lang. Master na lang. Ba't makakatulong kasi kung alam mo yung mga pattern. Puulun, najmun, nujumun, puulun. Mas makakatulong. Ba't hindi naman mamaster ang mga pattern bagos marami ang pattern ng broken plural. So, someday maano nyo rin sila, mamamaster nyo rin sila. Even na walang pattern, najmun, nujumun, like that. Ha? Kitabong kutubun. Kutubun like that. Okay? Another example is Shaykun. Shay... Shaykun. And then the Fuulun, you make Shu... Shuyukun. Ha? Shu... Yu... Kun. That's it. The learned man or old man. Shuyukun. Fuulun. Okay? In other pattern... Of this broken plural is drop the wow. Fuulun. Fuulun. Okay? Kat kitabun. What is kitabun? A book. Now plural, books. So put fuulun kutubun. Fu tubun. Kutubun. Oh yes, you can make it definite. Al kutubu. The books. Al kutubu. Kutubun is indefinite. Books. Okay? Now, if you make to definite, put an. Al-kutubu. The books. Okay? Alhamdulillah. Rasulun. Ara-rasulun. What is rasulun? This is a singular. Rasulun. Messenger. Now, put in to puulun. Rasulun. That is a messenger. Plural. Another pattern is fi-alun. One, two, three. Fi'alun. Like for example, Jabalun. What is Jabalun? Mountain. That is Jabalun. In pattern of Fi'alun, Jibalun. Jibalun, it became mountains. Marami ng mga bundok. That is a plural in the pattern of Fi'alun. Rajulun. Rajulun. Aman. Now, make it to plural, men, rijalun, pialun, rijalun. That is a plural. 
fuulun, fuulun, pr. And another form is fuulun. What is another form of plural, broken plural? In the pattern of fuulun. Fu alun. Fu alun. Like for example, tajirun. Merchandiser. Fu alun. Tujarun. Tud. Then, double sa ay. Tudja. Then, fu extra alif. And, lang kalima un. Tujarun. Tajirun. Tujarun. Merchandiser. Merchandiser. Mitchell, merchandisers. Or you can say, Talibun. Huh? Ta-libun. Po-alun. Tul-labun. Tul-labun. Po-alun. Tul-labun. Okay, that is number four pattern. And the number five pattern is Af-alun. Of alun. That is a broken plural. Huh? Of alun. Waladun. Waladun. And what is the plural by the from the pattern of of alun? Awladun. Aw. Ladun. How can we write this? Awladun. Of alun. Awladun. Okay, awladun, afalun. Or you can say, amun, angkel. Amun. A pattern of alun. Basagin natin dalawang ming. Amam. Am, ma, amamun. Afalun. Okay. And the another pattern is fi'latun. Fi'latun. Fi, la, tun. May ating siyang tamar buta. Okay? Like for example, Akun. Akun. Fi, la, tun. Ikh, wa, tun. Okay? Ikh, wa, tun. Ikh, wa, tun. Fi, la, tun. Ikh, wa, tun. Okay. Patan. Fatan. Then, Fi'latun, Fitiatun. Fitiatun. Another pattern is Af'ila'u. 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 Fa'ala, this extra, extra, and this Af ilao. Like for example, sadikun. Sa dikun. Af ilao. As di kao. As di kao. Af ilao. Tabibun. Ta bi bun. At B bao at B bao, but because this is a B and B, the rules is magkakaroon ng gitgam. So pag sa sama natin, so ilalagay natin ang kasra into pakalima, so became sukun. So the result is at tib bao. That is the plural of the doctor, but actually at B bao at tib bao. And the last na ibibigay natin is pu'alao. Fatern broken plural. But mayroon pang iba. Ito ang mga una nating ibinigay na fatern of broken plural. <coughs> And the last is pu'alao. Okay? That is the pakalima. And then, ayin kalima, pu'alao. Pu'alao. Like for example, zaminu. A colleague or classmate, 
in the pattern of fu'alahu, it became zu, ah, zu. Zu, zumala'u. Zuma, la'u. Zumala'u. Zumala'u, classmates or colleague. Okay? Handa. Pakirun. Fa, ki, run. Fu'alahu, fu, ka, ra'u. Fu, ka, ra'u. Why fu, ka, ra'u? Let un. Because this fu, ala'u pattern and af, ila'u is diptot. Darating tayo dyan. Af, ila'u and fu, ala'u pattern is diptot. That's why ending one damma. Remember that. Fu, ala'u and af, ila'u. That's why diptot. That's why pakirun became fu, ka, ra'u. One ending damma. And the Samir, Zumala, one ending, Dhamma. Because they are diptot. Zumala, 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 Pukara, Pukara, Pukara. Because they are diptot in the pattern of Afilao and Fu'alao. That's it. So, yan ang mga broken plural natin. Now, in this lesson also, pag-aaralan natin ang plural ng Hada and Hadi He. This, singular. And the plural is What is the plural? Haulai. Ha? Haulai. This is the plural. Ha. Okay. Ha. Ula. I. Meaning, this. Ang mga ito. Ang mga ito. Okay? Use for feminine and masculine. Pareho na. Masculine or masculine. Feminine. Like for example, if I said Hada Tajirun. That is for masculine. Then I will say Hadihi Mudarri Satan. Hadihi Mudarri Satan. Feminine, feminine, mutada kabar. Match. Ang Hada sa masculine lang. Ang Hadihi sa feminine lang. But if you put haulai, ha, ulai, now, pwede mong gamitin sa plural na masculine and feminine. Remember that rules. Now, what is the plural of tajirun? Ha? Tudjarun. Tudjarun. Masculine. What is the plural mudarisatun? This is a salim. Mudarisatun. Now, you say... Ha, ulai, mudar, mudari, satun. So meaning, ha, ulai is for feminine and masculine. Okay? At madalang lang itong magamit sa walang akil. Ang plural na ha, ulai, madalang na madalang, very rare. Kapagkat mayroon pattern kasi kapag ang plural ay walang akil, mayroon siyang sariling pamamaraan. Either na, oh, nakasalalay siya sa isang ismo isyara lamang. In lesson 16, aalamin natin kapag ang tinutukoy natin plural ay walang akil, haula ibang gagamitin? No. Mayroon ibang gamit kapag ang plural ay walang akil. Hindi haulahi, hindi ulai ka mayroon siyang sariling pattern. In lesson 16, alamin natin ang mga plural, ano ang match niya sa ismusyara. Ano ilalagay na ismusyara kapag plural ay walang akil. Pero kapag ito ay may akil, plural or feminine, you use haulai. But this haulai is the plural of hada and hadihi, not dalika and tilka. Iba sa dalika and tilka, that is ay ulai ka. Wala pa tayo dyan. Remember that rules. Okay? Alhamdulillah. So now, Uh, susunod, ipagpapatuloy natin ang ating uh, hiwar upang sariwain natin, masterin natin ang mga nakaraang paksa nating ito. At mga nakaraang pang mga ibang paksa pag dumarating ang pasulong ng mga lesson, hindi sila nawawala. Nandun sila sa palagi para hindi nyo makalimutan ang mga naunang mga rules natin. Okay? So sa susunod, ito ang ating mga magiging rules in lesson 13, the plural. There is a broken plural and sounds plural. And sounds plural, there is a sounds masculine plural and sounds feminine plural. And the plural of hada hadi, ito, ang mga ito ay haulai. At ginagamit lang sa may akil 
ang haulagi at madalang na madalang sa walang akil na plural magamit ito. Okay? Mayroong kasing sarilang ismusyara kapag ang akil, uh, ang plural ay walang akil, mayroong siyang sariling ismusyara. But this is a secret. Lesson 16, makikilala nyo. Nakita nyo na siya. Pero makikilala nyo siya ang gamit na ismusyara pagdating sa plural na walang akil. And also, pag-aaralan natin sa lesson na ito, ang plural ng masculine verb body past tense. Da haba, da haba, it became, what is the past tense of whom, uh, plural of whom, uh, plural of da haba, hua, hia, whom, it became da habu, it became da habu. Hinatak niya ang pata na maging dama pa hindi match ng wow. And this is the file for plural whom, mula sa hua, siya, sila. So, pagkaaralan natin din ng dahaba, dahabu, wow is the file for whom, karaja, karaju, like that. Okay? Wakradan ang dalar bilal aminu salatu wa salam ala rasulillah, subhanak alakum wa wabihamdik. Asyadu an la ilan tastagfir ka utubu, like, salamu alaikum, rahmatullahi barakatuh, jasakum lahay. Allahu Allah.